recipe of the day is it enough if you're just being vegan i don't think it's enough the world needs more conscious people to contribute to uh stopping the slaughter of animals stopping the pollution stopping the destruction of the planet deforestation you know stopping the world hunger all these all these things that meat and dairy are co contributing to and we're not gonna achieve it if people just are just vegan you know we need to step up the game and start to re actually promote the veganism on social medias um i see many people are quitting social medias for various reasons like it, it's distracting them etc but the social media is the most powerful tool we can have to achieve to reach people you know like uh you have youtube number one <clears throat> more and more people more and more young people are on youtube and um you know like attracted to uh physics you know like if you have like a if you are a guy with apps you know like so many people are attracted to it and if you have a message behind it it's even better uh girls so many girls are attracted to looking good you know looking slim and different diets so that's why freely is so, so popular and but everybody can contribute in different ways some people feel like they can't contribute in any way but everybody anybody has something to offer even me like you know like even if you have like 20 views per video you can that's that's awesome people like it's so many people to reach in one video you know and um <clears throat> Sometimes you get a video that gets more views and you can, you know, you can reach even more people. Then you have Facebook. I don't understand why. I used to be there as well, but now I don't understand why people are not there to promote uh, veganism and stuff. It's so powerful because you have, on YouTube you usually have like your subscribers who are usually vegan. But on Facebook you have like, <clears throat> you know, like friends who are not vegan and they can get inspired. I know many friends who are becoming vegan now not because of me because of themselves but they saw that i was vegan and that encouraged them to like step out the game um but anybody can do this <laughs> but understand if you are starting veganism you are like unsure about this you're like you know like don't know how it is you're a little bit insecure about it and i was there too i was not really spreading the vegan message after only like after I, I started YouTube about one year into veganism and then I really started promoting veganism about the same time but now after two three years I really like started promoting veganism so much more and there was always some like mm, drawback to it like oh like I don't like my friends to see it whatever on Facebook you know or my family don't want to see some videos but fuck it you know like you live uh, one day and I think everybody should get so this is encouragement for you if you're like hesitating to post something on Facebook most people don't post anything because of criticism and I get you like I didn't want to like get an argument with friends that I see in real life but at the end of the day it's about saving animals and not about people's ego so if anybody has a problem don't delete their comments, but try to uh, argue in a positive way and that will make you stronger. Um, I mean, it's not easy to argue with your friends, but that's what you got to do sometimes to save the animals and the planet. So get out there on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Those are the three most popular, maybe Twitter. And just smash it, smash it every day. Smash like 10 posts on Facebook. I know what's your strongest point. Like, I think... At the moment I'm getting more response on Facebook, but also YouTube, I'm smashing everything, even Instagram these days. So if you are vegan, especially if you are vegan like for three years or something or more, you have to be smashing the, the content out there. Otherwise it's not enough and we're not gonna change the world if we just if we just be, you know.